It'll be the Memphis Grizzlies up against the Chicago Bulls. The Bulls have been looking pretty confident. It's been a fantastic season for them, and this could be one of its most memorable nights as a win here gives them the best record in the league. Of the Grizz, they certainly take pride in their grit and grind style of play. And some teams this late in the season, Steve, Boys, have nice rosters night. that really have been ravaged by injury. Does that have an effect on the mentality of a team, seeing so many players in the shelf and knowing that there's more on your shoulders now? Yeah, it does. I think sometimes you look at it and you're going, how much will we have left individually or a team when we have so many guys out? Uh, but a lot of players and a lot of teams do a great job of just gutting through it. But sometimes when you look at it, the deeper you go in the postseason, you don't have enough bodies. It catches up to you. And the starting group for the Grizzlies. In the post, it's Green and Gasol together. Out of the out there with Tyree Gettys. And it's Brooks. And this might be the case again for both teams this coming season. Green, the screen. Six to shoot. Let's it go from deep. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. And it's good to see the improvement shooting from deep. DJ with it. Oh, yeah. Nice. I mean, just beautiful. I totally agree. Woo, did you see the creativity? The night. When you let him get in close, Mark Gasol at seven foot one can definitely hurt you on the offensive glass. Now, here's DJ. He's covered closely. I mean, that was physical defense. All game against Boston. And, and in that one, it was all about shutting down the paint. They were just terrific in terms of their rim protection. It was, did you know Mark Gasol had never shot more than 17 three-pointers in a season? Last season, he fired up over 250 of them. Connected at a high rate also. And DJ throws it down. Late defensive rotation, you must keep it. Very effective inside with his ability to contest and fight for rebounds. A tough defender that doesn't need many touches to play his role. Good on the triple. And it's six points for Tyreek Evans. Got to appreciate the aggressive soon as he gets the pass. DJ. Fantastic. Mark Casal, Paul Casal, Rudy Gobert. There's so many different names. These guys stand out, but I think the young guys is Giannis, Porzingis. Those are the guys I'm really looking at. I'm a, I'm a Dragic fan too. Goran Dragic is a guy I like though. He's a slasher. He's a, he's yes. a guy that's a drunk. He's been very solid. Oh man, off to a terrific start. Yet to miss with six made buckets. Conley gets to Ennis. Now, here's McLemore. Defense right on him. Dishes to Conley. Lopez against Gasol. Clock at four. Over Lopez. No good on that one. For Chicago, they've gone six of eight in the game so far. A very solid start for them. Oh! You're right. That's another one for DJ. Grizzly shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. And really up with 53 points and as he always seems to do piled up rebound after rebound the stat line was filled and the whole league is talking about it we'll see what he does still talking about tonight he, he dominated that game in just about every way possible i'm so excited i can't wait to see what he's got in store for us tonight maybe he tops himself again i think he throw good DJ and by Portis and Greg you look at the changes for the Grizzlies looking for versatility and adaptability in their play yeah great and grind still the oh. oh did you see that 
Leaving nothing to chance. DJ attacking the rim with everything. 31 points in the win against the Spurs in San Antonio. And a gigantic game for him at the free throw line. He was an instigator. Drawing a ton of contact and really just hunting for the whistle. Grant, that's good. Beautiful. So creating just enough space to get a shot over the defense. He <laughs> Shooting the basketball. He just has to make sure he's taking good shots. Valentine kicks to Grant. DJ with it. Evans is there. Thank you, Kevin. Now your scoring has been big in the first half, but also rebounding has been huge. What's allowed you to have such an impact? Well, you know, I mean, you can't get a rebound unless somebody misses a shot. So, yeah, I guess I've been pretty fortunate that there have been plenty of missed shots tonight. I wish I could tell you much more than that, D.A., but uh, all I do is I box my man out. I hope the ball comes off the rim towards me. If there's more to it, look, I didn't get the memo. Well, that's keeping it simple. Kevin, back to you. All right. And now the start of the second half. Neither side jump. They haven't found an answer for him. A, a scoring machine here in that first half. Defensively coming in, you know he's going to be tough to stop. But I'm still waiting to see it. Oh. The swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. And the lead now. Double digits on that bucket. DJ. This is a degree. Conley left side. This all set in the pick for Conley. Chicago grabs the miss. DJ's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Talk about steady floor generals. Mike Conley definitely comes to mind. Very stingy. It's all in by the Bulls. Lopez has got his third rebound on the night. A very disappointing start to this half. Three attempts with nothing to show for it. Here's DJ, guarded close, and he banks in the lane. DJ, your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Assistant coaches in the league before he took over in Memphis last season. He spent eight seasons in Miami, where LeBron James played for him. And LeBron said he has every quality that would fit a head coach. And from LeBron is never a bad thing, D.A. Thanks so much. And another miss by Memphis. Yeah, momentum right now is against them. They, they're just going to have to figure out a way to ride this one out. You know, easier said than done. What they need to do is string together some positive plays, try to turn the tide. So he gets the whistle. Steve, you talk about the value of versatility in the NBA. It's never been higher than I think right now, wouldn't you say? Hi, you. Setting the pick for Conley. Shoots off the screen. Chicago grabs the miss. And another miss. Ooh, he's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. And good that time. 44 points and Conley missing. And you just get the sense the whole period he's been a bit out of sync. Yep, trying to shoot himself back into this. Regain some confidence first. And DJ throws it down hard. Spin it around. And the pass to McLemore. Davis setting the pick for McLemore. And the Grizzlies tack on two more. Into two points on the tip end. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Hustle points right there. And DJ throws it down. Camera time. Yeah, maybe he didn't want to land awkwardly. Who knows? But there he is, and we see it very clearly. And DJ throws it down. That was a beautiful... ...to Detroit, where they'll face the Pistons. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for them. Now, here's DJ. He's guarded close to... We've seen that a few times. ...to the your side and ready to go. But let me ask you, when you were playing, Steve, did, did you consciously think, hey, someday I might be a coach, or I could... I'd like to sit up in the stands and evaluate talent. Does it go through your mind in the throws in the middle of your career? Now, D 
DJ. Please. And I love the competition of Rick Fox, Echo Fox versus Shaq's team. <laughs> Lopez with the steal. And here we go. The Bulls fast break. And DJ throws it down. Three. Conley's got assist number eight now on the night. DJ with it. Evans is there. And again, another one in. For Chicago, they've gotten it done so far from the field here in the fourth. Going six for seven. A beat rider is one of those guys that you see every day. And you're looking to challenge him when he writes something bad. And also you want to pat him on the back when he writes something good. <laughs> Throw good, DJ. And both free throws good for DJ. And a standout performance it was for DJ. I'll tell you, his shot blocking made a big impact. Whether it was on the ball or rotating over to help, he provides an intimidation factor. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of the crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really... Kevin, thank you. This was a big win for you. And with the playoff berth now guaranteed, you can start getting ready for the postseason. How excited are you for the playoffs? Let me tell you something, it's about time. All right, I was getting bored with the regular season, and I've been ready for the playoffs to get going for about a month now. You know, I don't think we have anything left to prove, so we might as well just start our march to glory because, you know, this year is our year. You can quote me on that, DA. Consider yourself quoted. Congrats, guys. You was unstoppable tonight, baby. They couldn't do nothing with you. Hey, Boo Boo, you see my boy boxing out tonight? <laughs> yeah, I saw him working that glass Ain't like Robin. nobody boxing me out tonight, fam. Look at him. He becoming a star. I'm proud it's about of about time, boy. Good job, look. Good job. Oh, he left me hanging. He acting like a superstar and everything. That's what man. the NBA will do to you. Man, I, I want to take my compliment back, man.